Okay, here we go. Gotta do something different for this Sonic video, because my thing... Okay, my thing didn't do anything. I'm an idiot, because uh, I forget that when I play the Sonic game, I have to turn the volume down a lot on OBS or the desktop audio, because the game's really loud, and you can't hear me. And I, f I forgot to change the audio settings from the last time when I was playing, because... I was recording a game with my friends, so for that I need to make it so my desktop audio is louder and I'm quieter, but for this game the desktop audio needs to be quieter and I need to be louder. So I forgot to do that, as I would, and then I messed up the audio. Uh, maybe if you can hear it, you can hear me talking from the audio track that has the game music very slightly, because you can still hear me a little bit, but I'm really quiet. So. It just didn't work out so well, so I have to record over it, because I am a smart human being. At least I can solve the problem, but I'm sure as hell can make one better. Okay, so, anyway, gameplay. Uh, so, this level, this level sucks. I hate this level. Um, I guess it's not that bad. I just, it's a really big level, and it's really hard to access each part of it, so it was kind of annoying to have to go through. Oh, big ghost. So, that was fun. And I got... Well, right here, I get one of the- I get the key piece that I don't even need yet. So, I just skipped the first one entirely and got the second one purely by accident. And it's just a really big and confusing level. A lot of the endgame numbers and rouge levels are like this, they're big and confusing. So that's always fun. But, it's an okay level, I guess. The, the music for it isn't as good as some of the other numbers levels, but that's okay. Not every level can have great music. But, it's definitely confusing and long. <laughs> and, uh, there's this, this episode, this one's weird. So right now, I'm gonna take the, the video off of this, of this, uh, audio. But, I'm watching the video in my editing software, commentating over what's happening. So that's fine. So I should be synced up. The bat and the hourglass. That's a tiger. So I'm in the place and I have to go find where I need to be. I always forget that you can use the hint machines. I always feel like those are cheating. Whenever I played the game as a kid, I would never use them. I don't know why. They just felt a little bit cheap, I guess. Pass at the core of the green room. That littles it down quite a lot. I'm in the red area, and I need to go to the green area. I get hit by everything in this level. There's not one thing that I get, don't get hit by. That's not true. I don't get hit by everything. But I get hit by a lot of things. I take a lot of damage. This is a lot harder. This is a lot harder of a way to do an episode. Another big ghost. Two big ghosts. Because this is weird. Because usually I just I'll talk while I'm playing and I'll cut around. I'll cut just mostly what I'm talking about or any fun gameplay parts. But now it's kind of hard because. I, I just have to sit here and watch it. I watch the whole thing through for 20 minutes and commentate over it. This is not how I'm gonna prefer to do these vi uh, videos. I passed the key. Good job, me. This level's fun. Uh, I think I'm almost done with it at this point. A lot of the end of the game levels are a little bit more annoying. Like, look at that hiding spot. That's so dumb. But it's somewhere clever. You know? But that did they not- that they did not do. So... That's fun. And, uh... What else? Uh, I have been uploading a lot less lately. I have a lot of footage. Um, me and my friend played Minecraft Dungeons all the way through and beat it in two days, so I have all that footage. A ring is buried on one side and a key is buried on the other. That doesn't help at all because I don't know where it is. Anyway, um... Wait. Machines path the blue room. There you go. Uh, but so I have a lot of footage of that. That footage is kind of framey though, because my computer's a little bit messed up right now. Because I gotta go through and clear out the storage. Because I'm almost out. Like I'm bare. I have very little storage, left, and I need to change that. But I haven't done anything about it yet. So that's my project for next weekend. And also, I've been. I've just been trying to get school done. I think next week is my last week of school. I'm almost done, so I've just been focusing a lot on my work, trying to get it all done.
time. It's not like I'm falling behind or anything, but still, it's really close and I just want to get it done for the year, especially lately with the whole online schooling. It's been really stressful and not fun, so. Hey, a B. I did a good job. Let's go. But anyway, so, you know, it hasn't been so fun with school and stuff lately, so I've been, and it, like, I had my, I had, like, a big project due at the end of the year that me and my group had, like, I had to finish and polish last week, and me and my group had to present it on Thursday, and that went well, so that's good. But that was taking up a lot of my time, like, even if I was playing a game with my friends on a open tab, open on Discord, I'd have a tab that would be the project, and any time, like, I'd die or something in the game, or I, or I had a second, I'd tab out and add a little bit more to it. So that wasn't the most fun thing, but I got it done, and I'm done with that now, so I'm gonna try to get my uploading schedule back on track. But I gotta do more things like go outside, especially with quarantine, I'm not leaving the house very much. And that's not very helpful. Help, helpful? Bleh. That's not very healthy. And for some reason I decided to do a chow race on this one. I do not know why. This is most of the reason why the level is so long. Why does the robot one have a gun? gave the robot one a gun. He's losing to the guy who- oh, and he pulls ahead. Alright. Come on, Eggman, let's go. Let's go. He's a very strong boy, climb very fast. Gonna- gonna get to the end there, and now he's just running. Just runs all the way. And I use up all his stamina. Because I'm smart. I beat my- I beat my past record by five seconds. Moya is good. Uh, I don't speak Spanish well. But... Ooh, I win. Uh, oh yeah, and I get an em emblem. Oh, I cut that part out. Oh god. Huh? Who's, Who's there? there? What the... I hate this part. A uh, ghost? This is one of the dumbest boss fights in the game. It's so annoying and long. It's also just not very fun. Look, just gotta run around in a circle and he turns around. And, like, through all my time of playing this game, I never understood how this boss fight worked. So, he does this attack where he breathes fire, and you have to wait for that. So, he's doing it now. And then you run around to his back, hit this little guy, and then he flips that, and then he proceeds from the sunlight, and then you gotta get him out and kill him. Or punch him, deal some damage. But, in all of the years of me playing this game, I just found out how that worked when I recorded this. Which was like a few weeks ago, because I have not been editing very much because I have bad work habits. But it's really annoying because you have to do it four or five times. And it just makes for a not very fun boss fight. But, I feel like the game really slows down, or this game really slows down towards the end because it just gets, like, more boring, because there are a lot more, like, there are a lot more time-consuming parts like this, where you gotta watch him get big every time, you gotta watch him shrink every time, you gotta chase him around four times. So that's not fun. I guess there could be a, I guess there are worse boss fights, it's not the most terrible one, but it's definitely not a fun one. I know I don't like this one at all. I take damage. I don't know if I've ever taken damage for this boss fight. I can't honestly remember. It's weird. And those noises are so annoying. The music's okay. The music's kinda cool. But the noises are so annoying. I feel like as a kid I was scared of the boss. I think that might have been for a different reason though, because... Uh, if you ever watched the Sonic X show, a lot of, like, what the show's about is kind of like this game. Like, it has the same premises, I think. At least towards the end here. And I remember the, this guy was kind of creepy in the show. I watched that a lot as a kid. I liked Sonic a lot as a kid. What a it's a declining franchise. What a hassle indeed, Knuckles. Thank you. So that was fun. That was a great boss fight. I love that one. Skip, skip the cutscene, yep, yep. Oh, right. And then another boss fight, two back to back. This one's boring. This one is not a fun boss fight. Because on this one, this is the only time I play as Sonic during this video. So this one, you just run around to his back, you jump up on the platforms, 
you bonk, you oh, I missed that. you bonk, you bonk, you bonk. And then you do that, you wash, rinse, and repeat like four times. And I guess it's making, I'm making it sound like all of the boss fights in this game are bad. While they didn't do them so well, I say, uh, like they're definitely a little bit boring and just, you know, just not a lot of change. That man, I call quicksand because I'm smart. There's definitely not a lot of like diversity in what they do. There's not a lot of like, you know, uh, different moves and stuff. So it gets a little bit boring. Some of them are a little bit hard though. Like this is one you have to do as an Eggman. That's kind of hard. Nice try, Rocky. So that one was easy. It just takes a little bit. It took, some, took a minute and 30 seconds. And you only had to see like 30 seconds of that. And now I get to do this level, Eternal Engine. These levels aren't really fun, at least on the hero side of the story. They're all, this one's also really long, and I die a lot. This, this is the only level that I really get in trouble with. And that's really annoying, because especially since there aren't a lot of checkpoints on the level, at least it's spaced out in very nice manners, so if I die, I go all the way back, and then I have to do all that part again and stuff, so it's not that fun. I like the level, I like the music though, it reminds me of Summer for some reason. Like, I would, I would avoid this level at all costs, if I... If I wanted to get stuff from the Chow Garden, I'd do one of the first few levels for either side, but I would never do the last levels. Definitely not this one, this, look at this level. And they try to make it so you have to do a lot of tight maneuvering, but they also make it so you have to do it with the clunky controls. So that's fun, isn't it? I blow up everything because I am in the Yes, and you have to be really careful too, or you can just play like an ape like I do. But you have to be careful when you're doing things because if you blow open those hatches, uh, you get sucked out of space. Which I do to Oma Chow here because he's like, bye bye. Into space he goes. But I guess it's not the worst level, but it's definitely annoying. It, it could be a lot better. I know that, like, when it comes to making levels, it gets harder as the game goes through, and then I shoot everything again, and I just get sucked in. So, like, you know, the longer the duration of the game, the more boring the levels you're gonna get towards the end. I guess I understand that. But, still, this level's not very fun. Because they make it really long. Like, those Knuckles ones are really long, too. But then again, I did get bit. Oh, wait, I said those. There's another Knuckles one, spoiler alert. But, I get bit by RNG in both of them. So I end up taking a lot more time than I would have wanted to. This level is already longer than the Sonic one. I've already been on this level for two minutes. I was on that Sonic boss fight for a minute and a half. And then I die. Back to the last checkpoint I was at. Oh, and then I die again. Back to the checkpoint. Yeah, I'm really good at this game. I've played it a lot and I'm really good at it, as you guys can obviously tell. Clearly not. And then I get a little bit stuck here because I'm big dumb. And then I see the switch and I get it. Back up I go. But the last Sonic level I think is really fun. I am, the, the last, the later levels are harder though because it's a lot more punishing if you miss a jump and they make it like really precise. Like or they just throw these enemies at you that suck. Kill them anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna die again here. Aren't I? but they make a lot of it unforgiving and annoying. And I'm dead again. And I respawn. Right back there. But still, a lot of it, they make a really, they make it really annoying. And I guess I see why people have so many problems with the game in that sense. But that's just some poor level design and you can't really hate a game for it so much. But I know I did get kind of annoyed with doing this level because I died so many times. The music though, the music kind of makes up for it, because I enjoy this music very much. It's definitely weird though, they went for a weird choice in, in level design, I guess? Oh wow, it's definitely interesting. You couldn't hear that, but I was just really sarcastic about getting the health when I got it, because I wanted it earlier when I was dying. 
And then I blow myself up because I'm really smart. Onward I go. What else was I saying? I can't remember. It's hard. This is an annoying way to do a video. I never want to do it like this again. It's really bad to have to comment. Like, if it if it's dual a solo commentary over my pre-recorded footage sucks. Because I already commentated over all this. I was set. I was ready to go. I was set. And now I have to do it again because I messed up. But like, if I got to do this with somebody else, which I guess I could have asked someone to do it with me, it would have been a lot better. And the video probably would have been more entertaining. But this is not a fun way to do videos. If you're ever considering doing it. Like, if you're not good at solo commentary, consider that. And then I missed the jump, and I'm sad now. But anyway, there's just... It's a lot more annoying than talking during the video, because I, I... Usually what I do is I just... I record all of it while commentating over it, and then I edit it, and then I upload it. Now, I had to record it, commentate it, uh, see what I did wrong, edit it, and then I have to commentate over it again, and then I have to upload it, so the whole process takes, like, I've been working since, like, one, this takes an extra hour, two hours, it's currently three, at the time of me setting this. So, that's what I'm uh, I get an upgrade now, yay, I get a bazooka, because I get to blow things up now. Like, these boxes, they they give you a lot of upgrades later in the game, but I don't really know why. And then there's Big the Cat, if you could hear me say that already. There he is. He's out in space because he can breathe in. Or there's no oxygen. Uh-oh, I blow up the thing and I'm gonna die. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. If I died, I would be very, very unhappy. So I didn't die. I'm a smart man, aren't I? I should have cut this up, this, this video, or this, this level a lot more. This level's pretty boring. Get the song. This won't help. Almost at the end, at least. So that's good. I think just that's ahead is the end, and then I have to go down. I think I talk about how this part really is not fun. I guess it's just because you can't target and hit some things, so it makes it a little less enjoyable. Because the whole Tails thing is that you lock onto a ton of stuff and you blow them all up at once. That's the fun part. Because you get a ton of points that go into your score, which gets more than what grade you get at the end of the level. And I'm sure if you've noticed, I get a lot of uh, bad grades, like in this game. Oh god, that's a lot of things going on. Then I gotta blow up this. Which, this part's fun because I get a bunch of points for blowing it up. And then I get. How many points do I get at a time? 2,000 points time. That's fun. Of course, that part's not very entertaining though because you just kinda sit there and shoot. I did it! I beat the level. I beat the boring one. Go me! Woo! An E! An I e. Do better next time. Let's go! Good job me! Good job me, I say. If you could probably hear that. I got the thing! My audio is a lot louder at the end here. I think at the beginning, I, I think I had just gotten out of bed when I first recorded it. So I was really tired, and I wasn't very talkative. But then, as it goes on, I get more, you know, like, energetic because I'm playing the game and actually doing something rather than just sitting around. So that's always fun. I don't spend a lot of ch time in the Chow Garden here. Nothing really happens there anymore. I like the Chow Garden, though. It's really nice. And I know I cut this part a lot, because this level is huge, and it's annoying. This level is not as bad as the, the Rouge level, though, on the other side of the, side of the story. Because she gets a really annoying one that I hate a lot. I feel like there was some kind of power-up I missed on this level. I think there was. Maybe I'll go back for it. I don't know. I kind of want to do more of this game when I'm done, like, do all the chow races and win all those. Because I feel like those would be fun. I might get other people up. And I get to fight here. Anyway, maybe- I think I talked about this already. I get more people on to commentate with me, and then we just, like, talk for a little bit. But, like, about- not really about what's going on in the game, but, uh, more so what about- Ah! Uh, I get hit by another meteor. I think that's two meteors now. But then, uh, then we can just kind of talk about whatever. I kind of like stuff like that. It's always a little bit entertaining. This level's not entertaining, though. I just, I cut it so that every time 
It's just whenever I get the yep, the pieces because if I hadn't cut this, I think this recording was like 39, 36 minutes long. It was 36 minutes long. And I think 15 of those minutes was the Tails level. Uh, 11 of the minutes, 7 minutes, 7 of the minutes was this level. And then, uh, I can't remember how long the first one was, but... All those levels weren't very fun. There's... I was level 15, I think there are 16 levels per side, so I think I have one Sonic level left, and then a boss fight. And then I'm done with the hero side. Speaking of boss fight, here's the third one of the video. The fun and exhilarating boss fights, aren't they? Watch this, I'm gonna... I, I do this so fast, okay. Look, bonk. And then she flies, and then bonk again. Now I made her mad and bonk one more time, and then I fly into her by accident and kill her. The fight took me 22 seconds. That was the fastest part of the video, by far. And I can't complain, because that fight can be really annoying sometimes, especially when the bottom opened up like that. And then, that's it. End of the video. See ya.